Let me tell you guys, match five in Kobe from December 10th, 2023. Didn't do a lot for me. Now, I do a lot of complaining. Well, not a lot. I love stardom, just about everything about it. But I do a lot of wishing that multi-person tag matches, like four on four, five on five, what have you, would always be elimination rules. Because I just feel that makes much more psychological sense. And this one was. Uh, what match am I talking about? I'm talking about God's Eye versus Odeo Tai. God's Eye consisting of Amy Sure, the Scandinavian Hurricane, Suri, and Mirai, taking on Starlight Kid, Ruaka, Natsukatora, and Momo Watanabe. The first, I don't know, five minutes of this, seven, eight minutes of this was nonsense. It was now, okay, understand. Love all eight of these women. Great, terrific, wonderful wrestlers. But this booking was nonsensical. I, I always forget, or it just doesn't enter my mind, that el elimination rules and in stardom include over-the-top rope. I mean, if you're tossed or fall or whatever, over-the-top rope to the floor, you're, you're eliminated. I, I don't like that rule at all. It should be pinfall and submission only, number one. It's, it's just too easy of a way to eliminate big-name wrestlers from an elimination match without them having to be pinned or submitted. I get that, but I don't really like it. Uh, this match had no rules at all. I mean, it, it just it went to the outside, of course, because it's Odeo Tai being thrown through chairs and into ring posts. Came back in. And when I say no rules, I mean, it's just random wrestlers were in the ring at random times. Trying to even keep track of who was legal was impossible. I, I don't know how the ref did it. I couldn't tell you if he did it because I couldn't tell. Um, it was just a big boo ha, -ha you know, just a bunch of fighting and rumbling and rolling around going on until it got down to the final four. Then it settled down into a pretty decent match because we had Suri versus Momo Watanabe for the most part and Starlight Kid versus the Scandinavian Hurricane. And I loved when it came down to that point, even though, you know, Momo and uh, Suri went over the top rope, of course. Uh, and that left us Starlight Kid versus the Scandinavian Hurricane, which turned into a very good match. I miss good matches from Starlight Kid. I feel like I haven't seen a great match from Starlight Kid through no fault of her own in a while. And this was solid. The Scandinavian Hurricane is a legit badass fighter. And Starlight Kid looked like a million bucks against her. It was great. She ended up pinning the Scandinavian Hurricane with her leg capture, belly-to-back suplex. Uh, that was great. I loved that. The last several minutes of this was wonderful. Really enjoyed it. The first... 70% of this was just nonsense all over the place, impossible to keep track of, just wild. Wild stuff where most of these wrestlers went over the top rope and that's how they were eliminated, which just bores me and makes me wish it wasn't an elimination match, which is ridiculous, it's what I want from these matches. But, no, when you, when you watch this match, just wait for Suri versus Momo, which we don't get enough of that, but we get a little, so that'll be a great singles match to see in the near future. And the Scandinavian Hurricane Alice Inc. versus Starlight Kid. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Big win from Odeo Tai in a match that I was overall pretty disappointed with. Just being honest.